العلم أشراف مطلب وطالبه لله أكرام من يمشي على قادم العلم نور مبين يستضيء به أهل السعادات والجهال في الظلم في نفس المسألة Is it permissible instead of paying the sheep? Is it permissible to pay cash? مثلا Ali and Zay, they have to pay how much? لا, they have to pay what? They've got 40 sheep, they have to pay what? One sheep. Can they pay the ca- can they pay cash? Huh? Yeah. Depends. Depends on? Yeah. This is Masakeen, sometimes. Sometimes the maslaha, a maslaha, the benefit for the Masakeen, is that they are given the worth of one sheep. So for example, we said one sheep can cost 1,000 sah in the market. It's more beneficial for the miskin, and he benefits more from giving him 1,000 cash than to take one sheep. That's when if he's a miskin, and he has no idea about sheep. He can take that sheep, try to sell it and get condom. He might go sell it for a hundred pounds when it's worth a thousand or a hundred riyals when it's worth a thousand. Or he might not even know how to sell it, so he'll be carrying around taking a sheep with him every week. Yeah, and there's little benefit in him having a sheep. Lakin, if there's a maslaha, the scholars say, if there is a maslaha in him paying, um, if there's a maslaha, if there's a benefit in him paying cash, in the person paying cash, then they can do so. Lakin, if there isn't a maslaha, the asal, the default ruling is that it is not permissible to pay anything other than anything other than what the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned. Why? Because during the time of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there was gold and silver. Like in his not, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did not direct us to pay or command us to pay Zahab and Fiddah. So this hadith of Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, the author of Abu Bakr, it specifies exactly what to pay on what amount. And that is maqsood, there's the intent of the shari' behind it. If there was no intent, then the Messenger wasallam would have given us something else to pay, a certain, a different amount, مثلا, five dinars for every camel, مثلا, or four, or fibba, this and this amount of dinars, or dirahim. Okay, because the Messenger wasallam specified what to pay then, we have to uh, stick with that up until or unless we see a benefit. Fine. That's the statement of Imam Ahmed, Sheikh al Islam, Sheikh Muhammad Ibrahim al Sheikh, Sheikh al Taymin Rahimahullah Ta'ala, Sheikh al Nasir al Sa'di. Fine. وأما صدقة الأثمان فقد تقدم أنه ليس فيها شيء حتى تبلغ 200 درهم وفيها ربع العشر. طيب. The Sheikh now goes on to the next Nisab, which is the Nisab for gold and the Nisab for silver. The Nisab for gold and the Nisab for silver. No, that depends. Allah alam. Like, it depends on the maslaha, which is no one can force him. Come on, no one can force him to pay cash. No one can force him to pay cash. But if also, he might not even have cash. He might not have cash. He might not have cash. Like, in, in terms of who determines the benefit of the, yani, which is more beneficial for the miskin, Allah alam. That can go back to the of the custom of the people. Like you can't be forced to pay. Pay. The nisab for zakat. For someone uh, who needs to pay a certain type of uh, age, how is a certain type of age camel or something? Uh, if he doesn't have that age, does he have to pay the older for the older age, or can he uh, pay cash? 
that's a mas'ala, mas'ala called jubran. And remember when I said there's one mas'ala that I haven't mentioned here, like we'll mention it the second time round. We'll mention that inshallah because it, it just requires a lot of explaining. And we don't have that time. Like in the next time round, inshallah, we'll explain it. It's called jubran. So if a person has to pay a one year old, if they don't have a one year old, they go up a level and the person that's collecting the zakah gives them two sheep or two sheep or uh, 20 dirhams 20 dirhams 20 dirhams 20 dirhams for zakah we need to know two issues first what is the nisab and how much do you pay what is the nisab so we already know that you have to pay zakah on gold Lucky, we have to know what the nisab is and then we have to know how much we pay Nisab for gold is what? 20 dinar. 20 dinar. That was during the time of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Not the dinars that are used in some um, parts of the Muslim world now. Right. However, after doing calculations into modern day, what we use measurements and so on, the scholars have said that one mithqal or one dirham after one dinar or one mithqal, same thing, equals 4.25 grams. 4.25 grams. 4.25 grams. Four and a quarter grams. Five. This equals to 85 grams. So what is 4.25 times 20? Calculate that. Should be 85, right? 85. 85 grams. Just stay for yourself for gold. You've got gold and it reaches 85. If you've got gold and it reaches 85 grams, that is the Nisaf, the threshold for paying zakah on gold. What is the threshold for the what is the nisab for zakah? 85 grams. If a person has 80, it is not wajib. If they have 84, it is not wajib. 85 is the nisab for zakah. What was the second question that we said we need to know? What is the second issue? How much? 2.5. Is five. 2.5 is five. The easiest way to do that is divide it by 40. Someone calculate 80, methylen, 85 divided by 40. The answer that you have, the answer that you have is how much zakah you left. Okay. 85 divided by your answer is the zakat the zakat you have regardless 90 okay, you've got 90 grams 100 grams divide it by 40 that's when you get your rubber divide it by 40 and the answer that you get will determine how much you have to pay so what steps do you have to take? Um Khadija. Um Khadija has 90 grams of gold. How do we work out? Who's going to work out 90 grams? What is the what does she have to pay? Huh? Five. Five. 
How much now? The cash. Ninety grams of gold. You have to take the following steps. Wait. Double and gold and cash is different. Gold and cash different. Look. Look. You go online. Find out the price of one gram. It fluctuates. The, on this day, when was it? The 14th of Jum'at, yeah, on the 9th, which was, what, on Thursday, the price of gold was 38 pound 15 for one gram. For one gram. And we're talking about 24 carats. Thank you. So if the price of gold, so if we want to know the Nisab, for gold, we know what the Nisab is. What is the Nisab? Huh? 85 grams. 85 grams. Lacking, when we're talking about how much to pay, we usually use cash. So we want to know how much we'd have to pay Nisab, the Nisab, for how much cash we'd have to pay from that Nisab that we have. The Nisab that we have can be 90 grams, depending on how much the person has. Lacking, in order to find out the equivalent of the cash to the grams, we go to the market, just Google it in, the price of one. Um, one gram of gold fluctuates like in on Thursday it was 38 point or 38 pound 15 pence so 38 pound 15 pence times 85 why is it saying 85? that is in the sum what does it equal to? by the way you've got this in front of you calculation 3,242 that is the threshold for ca for gold when you're talking about when you refer when you transfer it over to cash. Why did I transfer it over to cash? Or why did why do we transfer it to cash? Because no one really knows in terms of grams. Yeah, we don't really use it. Like when it comes to when you want to know the equivalent to it, and we shall see this benefit when we're talking about cash, when we're talking about the currencies, not silver, not gold, like in the currency of cash that we use now. So, so that is how to work out the amount of gold. So 90, we said Khadija had what? So a different example, Khadija has what? How many grams of gold? 90. We want to find out the nisab of gold. We're talking about the equivalent to cash. Let's say, for argument's sake, the nisab of one gram of gold today isn't. But let's say it is um, 40 pounds. 40. So we know the gram cost how much? Where did we find that out from? Let's mm -hmm. just check out. Gold is a price worldwide. Mm -hmm. 40. We times that by what? Mm -hmm. Now. Divide that by. Times that by. Mm -hmm. uh, by the amount that you got. By you. No, not the amount you got. The missile. Of God is what 85. That doesn't change. 85. Okay. 40 times 85 grams equals what? On this day it is 3,400. That is the Nisab. And today's Saturday, sir. Huh? Today the Nisab is 3,400. Okay. We want to find out what Khadija has. That's the Nisab. We want to find out what Khadija has to pay. Okay. 40 times 90. What does it come up to? 3, 6. Okay. Divide by 40. 93.
forms the system, the way that we work it out. The Nisab always stays the same. The only thing that differs is the gold that we have. Someone can have 70 grams of gold, someone can have 90. The one that has 70, how much do they pay? Nothing. Nothing. The one that has 90, how much do they pay? On the 90. Huh? On the 90. On the 90. How do we find out the price of 90 grams? How do you find that 90 grams? The price, what, how much it costs? Look at the value of one gram. Look at the value of one gram. That's and then you times that by however many grams this person has. You look stone faced. The Nisab is what for Zahab? 85, sir? Yes. Yeah. Right. A person has 100 grams. They have to pay what? No, they always pay too much. They have to pay the cat, sir. Because they've got the threshold and more. The Nisab and more. So, مثلا, الآن, Khadija has 100 grams of gold. What steps do we take in order to find out how much she has to pay? It's on here. Find out how much one gram of gold is in the market. Yeah. And then you've got your figure. مثلا, what does it say? 38 pounds, 15, sir. 38 pounds 15 times how much did Khadija have? 100. The answer, let's say it's 4,000. Just say it's equivalent to 4,000 pounds. Divide that by 40. 4,000 divided by 40? 100. 4,000 divided by 40, 100 pounds. You. You understood. <laughs> we go again. The Nisab for gold is what? Hmm? 3.5 times 100. 0.25 times 100. Let's see. So 0. Times a hundred. Zero point two five. That times a hundred. Convert it to that comes up to twenty five. In working out what? I'm trying to find out what. Ah, do you mean in, in order to work out 2.5? As use whatever method, as long as you pay 2.5. Less than times 40, or divide by 40 is the easiest method. The easiest method is divide by 40. The easiest method is divide by 40. Is that what your question was, sister? In order to find out how much you have to pay. Minus the one, one eight minus the by five. Okay. The excess doesn't matter because because you're over the nisab, you're still going to have to pay for every gram that is over the nisab, right? Yeah. Right. So there's no point in taking it back to eighty. The 85, so I've been taking it back to the 85. The only way the 85 benefits us is in finding out the Nisab in terms of cash. Like if you've got 100 grams, it makes no difference whether we could take it back to 85 or not. Because you're still going to be paying Zakat on the 100 grams. 
on the 100 grams. So mathal here, you've got however many grams a person of gold has. However many grams of gold a person has. We just wanted to find out the nisab of gold. We want to find out the nisab of gold. 85 grams on the 14th of Jumad al 85 grams equals 3,242 and 75 pence. That's the nisab. Better than later on when we're, this is going to benefit us when we're looking at currencies and money. Because in our banks we don't have gold, we have what? Cash. So in order to find out the nisab, we transfer it over to um, cash rather than grams. Like in the way you find out how much a person has to pay, is that understood? However many grams you have, divide by 40. However many grams you have in cash, divide that by 40, that is the amount that you would have to pay. And that changes depending on the number amount of gram, grams a person has in gold. Is that understood? What is the nisab for dahab? 85 grams. Where does it say 0 0.25? 85 grams. 85 grams. You get the same amount. Get the same amount. But if you work out, you know the method that you've. Why do we carry on? The method that you've just mentioned. Yeah. Work it out for three thousand two hundred and forty-two mm -hmm. seventy-five. That's in the sum. Use that method that you mentioned and see if you come up to eighty-one pounds and six pence. And it comes up to it. So what was the method? 0 0.25. 0 0.25. Times 85 grams. And then you get 21.25. So what was the last thing? Times 21.25. Times? Thirty-eight point one five, which is the amount um, one gram. So that's a different method. Like it's always easier to what? Divide by forty. Which type method? Like if it comes up to the same amount, put the hair with it doesn't matter. You can use whatever method you want. Like as long as you pay how much? 2.5. That's and the easiest way the scholars mention to take 40. They're confused with the 40. Just come and find 2.5. Same thing though, isn't it? 0.25. That's all things, yeah. Yeah, 0.025 is 0.025. She did say 0 0.025. First time I'm going to say 0.025. Huh? 0.025. Sorry, I'll try to answer that. I'm going to tell you the point you said 0.025. It works out because I'm going to tell you. Tell you. Tell you. Tell you. Tell you. Tell you. We know the Nisab, right? And we know the amount that we have to pay, 2.5. Divide all, divide by 40. By you. And we also know that if a person has more than 100 grams of gold, they only have to find out how much cash there is, how much 100 grams is in cash. Once they find that out, they just pay 2.5% of the amount that it works out to be, the equivalent of it. In cash, they pay 2.5%. They pay 2.5%. Or they can just divide by 40. Or they can just divide by 40.
always equals up to 2.5 grams. Well, but that shouldn't, doesn't change. Baif. So that's for Zakat. Silver. As for silver, 200 bin. And the sub for silver, as the Sheikh Rashullah Ali mentioned, is 100 dirham. 200 dirham. The dirham we're talking about is a dirham Islami. Dirham, which is Islami, is not a dirham that we that some countries explain. Two hundred fifty and silver. Right, two hundred. That is equivalent to five hundred and ninety five grams. What is the sum of that? Eighty five grams. Then the sum the silver. Fibba is 595. 595. That is the Nisab, the Fibba. We want to know the equivalent to that in cash. Who knows the Tariqa? How much one gram of silver is in cash? Exactly the same. Matal and Al An, the price of silver on the 9th on Thursday was 42p. 42p. Bay. 42p is the price of one gram pure silver. You me? What is the Nisab? 595. So, what do we do now? 42 Hold on 42 pence, not pounds By the way, 42 pence Not pounds, wait Times 595 42 Oh no, five. Equals what? 220 Huh? Oh no, no, no Round it off to 250 Round it off to 250 that is the Nisaf of silver in cash. That is the price of silver. That is the Nisaf for silver in cash. How did we work it out? How did we work out 250 pounds? 259 pounds. Price of the gram. Like times what? Five nine five. Five nine five. Which is the nisab? This five nine five will never change. Like the what? The dhahab, which was what? Eighty five. That doesn't change. This price on Thursday was forty two. Today it could be less. Could be more. Could be fifty. Or could be thirty. That this fluctuates. The price. The price of. Um, Silver fluctuates, like in the Nisab stays the same. The Nisab stays the same. So what is the Nisab for silver? So we get five months. The examples that we have here, we've used them for the benefit of the distance. Again, 2.5% is the amount that you have to pay for silver and gold. The amount is exactly the same. It's always going to be 2.5%. What was the result that we have for gold in here? No, the result for gold, not. Yeah, 85 pounds. 85 and? 595. So, that doesn't change. If you carry on, the Nisab for 
currencies. How do we know they're not the current currencies? So you won't find in the Quran and the Sunnah single hadith telling you to telling you the Nisab of pounds or dollars or currencies that you use now. How can we find out Taban the the currencies that we use now they're used for Thamaniya buying, selling, trading, sah? The currencies that we have now take the place of gold and silver. So if we say there's no zakat on the cash that we have because it's not been mentioned in the Quran and the Sunnah, that means no one has to pay any zakat except for a small minority. So you'd be like Ali and Zayd. Huh? You'd be like Ali and Zayd, nothing about the Shia. La, no, not exactly Ali and Zayd, but if we say that you don't have to pay, for example, if we say that money currencies weren't around during the time of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so we don't have to pay the zakah now and that means that no one pays zakah you're changing the ruling altogether well no, uh, not changing the ruling altogether but you're getting rid of the ruling altogether which is paying zakah no one buys and sells in gold who amongst us buys and sells in gold? silver or gold? no one, we use what? currencies Bye. So we need to pay zakat on these currencies because they're thamaniya, they're athman. Remember when the Sheikh said, وَأَمَّا صَدَقَةُ الْأَثْمَانِ Athman is anything that you use in order to buy or sell. Thank you. Naam. Naam, scholars. Because it hasn't been mentioned in the Quran and the Sunnah. Oh, they were, initially, there were scholars that said that because these currencies only came into effect in the last maybe 80 years or so, or 100 years. Thank you. Yes, <coughs> now. Ahsan. Ahsan. Same illa, same reason. Which is Thamaniya. Which is Thamaniya. Right. Likewise, the hadith, meant when we're talking about riba, gold and gold, same price. 10 grams of gold and 10 grams of gold, can we exchange them? 10, 10 grams of gold, 8 grams of gold. La. Same thing with money. Same thing with money. Illa, thamaniya. The illa, or the reason, is thamaniya. Ala kulli hal. There is a zakat on money. But how do we work out which nisab to use? Because, mathalan, so we know that we have to use, we know that zakat has its own nisab, right? Silver has its own nisab. Money, what is the nisab for money? Mathalan, and the examples that you have here now, 300 and, uh, mathalan, what was it, 355. 2,255 That is the Nisab for what? Oh gold The silver, what was the Nisab that we had? 250 The silver is 250 What Nisab should we use? There's a big contrast, there's a big difference between between using saying that the gold is the nisab that we should use. So if your money that you've had for over a year reaches 320 or 3,255, then you have to pay zakat. If it's anything less than that, you don't have to pay zakat because it hasn't reached the nisab of gold. Or do we say that no, if your money reaches the nisab of silver, which is 250 pounds today, then you have to, so if you've got anything, if you've got 250 pounds or more, then you have to pay sadaqah, and zakah on it. Which one, which nisab do we use? Bear in mind, there is no nisab for money in the Quran and Muslim. Silver. Silver. Who says silver? Who says gold? We don't use it. 
Which nisab do we use? Do we use the nisab of gold to work out how much our threshold for cash is, the money that we have in our accounts, how much the threshold is, or do we use the nisab of silver? As you can see, there's a big difference. Silver. For those of you that say silver, why? Originally from silver. Okay, from that aspect. Like there is a, okay, yeah, that's it. Right. Like, from that aspect. What was the system? Huh? Excellent, excellent. I have to live for It's better for the for No, not really. A lot of people can have 200, 300 and something. Yeah, but all the people that don't have it, then they would have That's, that's, with everything else though, isn't it? No, but then, like, they would, if you just, if you choose the lower one, you get both of them. But if you choose gold... Yeah, but the, the person, the, the person that's meant to pay the zakah, he's losing out. He won't look at it like that. You're looking at it like that from, an, uh, from her side of the picture. Like in him himself, the person paying the zakah won't look at it like that. No, he's not going to look at it, he's going to say, listen, he hasn't reached in his hub. Go on Gold is more than silver. Per gram. Uh, per gram. Per gram. You mean gr- gold is more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you said silver is more first time, man. Yeah, you said silver is more. And they all agree with you. Gold is more, way more. Are you? And money, currency. Opinion of mo- the majority of scholars, the Ma'asirun, the contemporary scholars, the majority of them say the nisab for cash money is the nisab for silver. Is the nisab for silver because. No, if we say that they have to pay zakat on the nisab of silver, no. If we say they have to pay the nisab or they have to take the threshold of silver then they can't go back to that, uh, to gold. Because sometimes a person can go back to gold and say, and say it is not, I, or m- my wealth hasn't reached 3,255. 3, it hasn't reached the Nisab for gold, therefore I'm not paying. Like if we say Qawl Wahid, if we say that the Nisab is silver, the Nisab for money, cash, is the Nisab for silver, then we have to say, look at it. The Nisab of silver, what is the Nisab of silver? We have to find out what the Nisab of silver is on that day. Not that today we say 250 pounds. So anyone who's had 250 pounds, owned 250 pounds for a year or more, they have to pay the Zakat 2.5%. So, is it understood? Wait. And this is the most important masala in this, all of this. There is another mas'ala There is another mas'ala Lacking I want you to take that as home work The other mas'ala is (laughs) 
زكاه الخليل زكاه الخليل When we were talking about the types of wealth that you have to pay money on, money, uh, zakat, or zakat, uh, that you have to pay zakat for, you mentioned what? Khaj Minan. 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 We say, we said that it doesn't, you don't have to pay zakat on what? There are certain things that we mentioned in the beginning of the class that we don't have to pay zakat on. Things that you use. 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 Providing the camel to work, then that camel has no zakat on it. There's another masala that you, I want you to take as homework and research it, which is called zakat al khalid. Zahab, we already established, has a nisab, sah? and zakat is wajib on it. Sah? We've also established that the clothes that we wear. And the cars that we have and so on, there's no zakat on it. There's a masala that the scholars talk about, it's a really important masala, which is the zakat that we use to beautify, the gold that we use to beautify ourselves with, is there zakat on that or not? The gold that we use to beautify ourselves with, or that we use to wear, That's not one at one, you're always going to get slapped. Right. What I want you to do, what I want you to do, is I'm going to the masala. The dahab that we use for beautification is there zakah wajib, wajib upon it. 